Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you something about text. Many of you are aware that you can do like different types of text here in Lightwave here and uh, you can then set the size here and you can drag out here to set the spacing but also uh, you have some other possibilities uh, using the numeric panel. I'll kill this again. I'll pick up the numeric and put it over here. And you can see now I've got a lot of different options here. I can type my text in here and it will enter down here as you see. But I can also choose a font list here. Now I'm not especially fond of the way of choosing fonts here. Uh, if you got a lot of fonts, you get an extremely long list that you got to scroll through. Uh, that could have been done uh, a little smarter, but nothing about that uh, at this moment. But uh, right here, you can set a lot of stuff here about the sizing and centering and some stuff. Uh, that's not um, what I'm going to show you today, but of course, we're going to use text and I'm going to show you a few problems and a few tricks to get something more fun out of your texts. I'll take this light with sign here and press enter and I'll close this. I'll start by dragging this up here and I'll make a copy of this to say of course right now as you can see this is flat text. As you notice here on the T up here you get an, an error that is an open GL error. It happens on a lot of fonts when you get, when you get uh, edges like this. Um, it's only a visual bug, it will not be in the render and you will not see it uh, when you finished finish the image. But uh, as I have the text here I can then go to select extrude and I can then give the text some depth so we can have some 3D text. You then have different possibilities here. Let's zoom in here on the the, the, the A or the V. Let's take the V here and I can select the front edge here and I can then use bevel to give the text some edges here so I get a little more nice uh, letters here. There can be problems though doing this. Uh, if you've got edges that is really close here, uh, they might uh, tend to to get across and that you get and then you get some nasty errors. I'll try here, show you an example again. I'll bevel again and I will move in here. And what you see now is that lines here is starting to cross and that can cause some nasty errors at the front here. Sometimes the polygons even get flipped and so on and uh, then you have to go in and drag these points back so you get the proper shape. Down here you see the problem again. So I'll drag this in and I'll drag this in. So you have to be aware of that. It's uh, different from shape to shapes of the letters if you get this problem and how much you bevel. But as you see, it makes the letters look a little cooler. You could also go and select the front end here and then use the tool called Rounder to make some around front here, but as you see here, the selected point is not inside the surface, so I'm getting some surface errors here that can be due to the letter and have some uh, problems, so I would need to clean that up. Uh, and I don't want to use time on that at the moment, so let's do this on the T instead and check we got a problem here. As you see, I've selected the front, but I got two polygons. That's because I get this also. Uh, of course, stupid me. <laughs> I am only human. So, 
Now again, try rounder and I'm going to drag up the numeric panel. As you see, I have a very small here instance. If I set this, you can see here I get nice rounded edges on the object. And I can set here, of course, how many polygons is going to be used to make this round corner and a lot of difference here, but in the end you see here nice rounded edges instead of the sharp ones that we had over here. So that is also a possibility. As I mentioned before, as you see here, you got this open gel error here. This is only an open gel, it will not be visual in the render. Now there's all the pro all the problems with uh, text here uh, that might occur, but you don't see them at the moment. The problem here is that uh, these are made of uh, some of them uh, uh, only a few polygons, so you can going to you're going to get into trouble if you do, like for instance, say you want to bend the text. If I go up here and say I want to bend this text backward. Now you see there's a few letters here that is quite messed up but the letters with a lot of polygons here is going to bend rather nice. Now that's going to be a problem with the text. You see the H here is rather messed up. Also the T is messed up because there's no polygons to bend across um, so what you're gonna do here is going to make, let's just make a new here, copy, paste, like this. I will again, let's put this in a new layer, and I will extrude this to get some text. And I'm going to use a tool over here in the subdivide. I'm not going to pronounce it. I'm not sure it's called Julian or Julian tool or something. There's two different versions. They are very similar. I'll take version 2 here and I get this parameter here. Now I can set which axis I want to cut, cut this object in. Because I need to make a lot of polygons here uh, to have something to bend on. So I'll choose the Y axis here because I want to bend the letters backwards. So I'll choose the Y axis, I'll change here how many divisions I want to split up the letters in. So let's try say 20 here and as you see the letters get cut up like a sliced. You can't really see any difference over here but over here you can see. And by doing that if I now take my bend tool here I can really nicely bend back all my layers. So say if that was to be some text that I was going to say put on a cylinder or a sign or something I could then take this text here, move it up here and I could modify bend then bend it backwards like this. That was a little bit too far. I have to look over here. Now that's uh just a short note, when you bend stuff like this, there's difference if you bend click here and bend or click in the center or bend or click here and bend. You see this kinda of pulls down this kind of stretches it, but when you do it in the middle it will keep in proportions. And of course I have to not drag sideways like this and you see I can get the text to shape and follow the tube pretty nicely here. But this is only when bending this way. If I were to bend them the other way, um, 
I would need to do the the cut in the other axis. So uh, I'll go here again and I will subdivide. Let's try the other one then. You see here, I'll choose the X axis then and then I got the whole letter here. So I need a lot of more of divisions here. So let's say 200 perhaps and see they got a nice spread on the letters. Now as you see the old version here makes this extra layer here with all the planes that we used to cut. So that's a little annoying. I'll kill that. And over here as you see I can then bend my letters pretty nice around without getting any distortions really. I got a little polygon error up here. I'm not sure really why, it could be something messed up before. But as you see, I could then have had the tube here. Disc roots. Like this. Uh, this could also be the earth uh, model uh, with uh, the, some text uh, spinning around it and so on. You can then uh, animate here how the text would rotate around du -du 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 -du, if you like. Uh, or, and this method, method here is, is pretty neat. But there is a situation where you can't really use this. Uh, say if I had a disk that was like shaped like this and extrude let's go make a new texture copy this extrude root now if I want to bend this to follow this shape that would be rather different because when I go now let's cut this up did it the x-axis let's say 200 again so if I bend now as you see it can be a little different to get this it's okay here, it's not okay here, that's too much distance and so on um, so sometimes you can have shapes that is not uh, easy to follow it could also be a curved shape like this or something uh, so for doing stuff like that I'm going to show you a different technique you can do of course you could also use the, the shear tool here but um, did, did, let's click here like this I could funny my shear is acting up like this again I could then drag in or drag out but as you see here this just shifts the text. That is sometimes also what you want. But if I want the text, the letters to actually rotate to follow the shape, this is not going to work. For that, I can go to my modify and I can say spline guide. With this, I can take up the numeric and I can select here, click on the top view, and I select. Instead of scale, I select bend. Now, I'll drag this out of the way. I can, here I can set how many curve points I would like to use to shape this. As you see, I'll put one in the center. So I'll set this to 7. And I can now go in and take these points and drag. in until I get let's just follow the shape here 
And you see how precise I can go in and shape this texture to exactly go through the edge of the curve. And it will again turn the letters in a different way than just shifting. And if we again look here, you can see how it nicely conforms to the background here. So that's uh, another technique for the text. You could, of course, um, make several shifts on this. Let's try a little harder one here and say I would like to say disk here. Let this be the, the background here. And I'll take this texture and I'm going to use this. Um, we have done the slices here, so I can then go to this here. I'll then use my shear here to drag this up or Let's just whoops reset this like this. I can then shift the letters up and I can then after that bend them around my tube. It's not 100% precise right here, because of where I placed my cursor, but if I drag it out a bit here, you'll see it's pretty okay. And then I got text spinning nicely around this tube. So, um, it could also be in a different angle. Say you had a disk here, and this could be, say, a coin. And you then had some text here on the top. In this case, it's obviously a light wave coin. I'll then place this here. And I need to uh, slice this up again. Because I'm going to bend this down this way now. So I need uh, to slice it up. If I don't bend, Let's check here, or I mean if it don't slice, it will be fairly decent in this angle. But some letters you will see some, some bigger distortions, and for that you need of course to make some points to bend on. So, let's just multiply this again and say root and 200 and modify bend So I can drag my text up here. It's not 100% perfect. It looks a little funny because of the big L here, but I think you'll get the concept here on uh, how to set this up. So um, that's a little bit about text. I hope you enjoy it and uh, come back soon.